Okay, welcome back to the third part. So let's close this. I think what I need to do is to modify these frames so that uh, I can I can get a distinctive appearance of the frame itself. So let's come back in here and let's go to the top right there. And here, let's make as follows. Okay, bother make that 16. I'll repeat the same thing for this. Okay, here I have sky blue. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. Let's raise it and see. So let's run it now. And those three modifications is just for the main frames. As you can see, you can see the difference in all those frames. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we repeat the same thing for the inner frames. Let's see what will happen with the inner frames. Okay. Let's come down here. Okay, let's go down and just oh there they are. Those are the inner frames. Let me try a couple of those and see what will happen. And if it's not good enough, we just delete it anyway. Let's see. Okay, that's the inner frame. I think I'm gonna I think I like it. I may have to go for it but are there anything missing here let's see if there's anything missing in there undo that undo undo okay we have net pay and deduction so let's try that again i think this is this is it let's see Okay, and deduction. Deduction is there. That's good. Now let's see if we repeat the same thing for the other one. What will happen? Let's run that. Okay, net pay is there too. Okay, maybe we can just reduce the the border. Let's reduce the border of these two. Make it eight. I think that looks a little bit much better. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Let's repeat the same thing for the last one here. Let's change that to it and run it. All right, so that's not bad. It's sort of like show the demarcation between them and here I think this is a this is peel over here so we may yeah but that's not too bad okay let's just copy all of these codes in here and paste it in here then uh, maybe increase this as well we need to increase this to I think this is 50 something let's see let's go back in there that's 54 54 so we need what is the name of those ones we need postcode and gender postcode and gender will be right down here 54 Okay, I think 54 might be too long here. Maybe reduce it a little bit. Maybe 48. Okay, that's much better. Now let's finish up with the design of this of the right hand side. 
let's come here and just copy all of this let's copy it all of the components in here I think I'm gonna need about it here yeah, it so if I run it how many do I have here I have 10 here and I need 8 I need two for my pockets. Yeah, why? We need approximately ten of those. Eight, actually, to be precise. So we take it from here. Let's copy it from here. Take it down. Let's start with just two first. Label and the other one. Let's just start with that first bring it down down here paste that in there and just change it to right side right right inner side and the first one will be dates let's change that to dates paid it as well and let's copy and paste the rest that's what paid it so if this works fine we just need to speed that up so let's come in here we need to know the name of that very frame I think that might be it. This one right inside the left. The right inside the left. But this should not be 50 something, that should be 20 something, I think. Let's see that. That's 18. Okay. That's 18. And 18 10 okay justify right I think I should change all of this justify right to left really yeah all of them should be left really you will know, have to do that that will take some time okay run it alright no we don't want it up there we want it down here inside this so what is the name of this frame okay back in the code the name of the frame is left left okay yeah now let's try it one more time right there we go now we can now speed that up so let's copy that now that we know what we're doing just copy this paste and the next one will be let's call that lbl tax period tax So once we complete that, then we can just speed it up once the two is working fine. Okay. That'll be on tax period. And we'll just use that to save time, then we can carry on. Go ahead with the calculations. Right now this one is zero zero and zero and this one will be one rule one rule one okay save that run 
there okay so what I need to do now is to get rid of the back color let's look for that red back color somewhere here there we go the red one let's get rid of that and I'm just going to change this to blue I'll be coming back there soon so save and run right okay so I'll repeat the same thing for the rest of this uh, program but one thing let's let's do one thing let's come here and just enter those borders so that you guys see those ones copy enter my border there one should be a comma here comma another border maybe just get rid of this if I'm going to enter border into it right there you see the borders are there so I don't need colors anymore I will now speed that up and get back to you guys okay I've actually speeded up and uh, here are the lines of codes so have a good look at it all right so all that we need to do now is maybe create some buttons I think so let's run it so that you guys see how it looks like that is it it looks beautiful so maybe we need two or three buttons there I think that's what we need to do okay let's create some buttons here so I'm gonna close that and close that as well let's come right here underneath there yeah right there but first thing first I need the name of that very frame and that will be that's supposed to be right side right stop side right right I believe yeah it's very frame copy that name right so scroll right down come underneath here and enter enter as follow the first one is I'm gonna call that BTN BTN payment which payment equals button and enter the frame name there and specify the pad make that eight and border make that eight as well then font color I'm gonna make that black yeah and then font just copy font here copy all of that copy paste that in here that's for the font then let's go for width the width is also here let's copy maybe make this width in this case let's go for 14 all right then the next thing is we need to now enter let's enter text for it the text will be wage payment let's copy that wage payment that's the text on the button itself then we also need let's enter color for this so let's make that maybe sky blue sky blue and enter grill there so in this case this grill will be rule equals zero and the column will be equals zero as well so close that I think that will be all for this button so let's check it out first save and run we have an error there okay there's there's a comma missing here i think that will 
the ball. Let's run it again. Right there. That's the button right there. Okay. So we'll just copy and change it around. So let's copy that. Copy. So we're gonna need about four, five of those. Two, three, four. I think four for now. Now let's make that five. And this will be rule zero. This will be rule one. Rule two. Rule three. And rule four here. Okay, let's run it and see. Okay, those are our buttons in place. So I will now speed that up and just modify the whole system. Okay, so let's do that now. I think I'm going to need some button here to push this up a little bit. That's the way it is now since I don't have anything yet. Okay. Okay, I finished modifying the button, the codes for the buttons. There they are. So let's run it and see. Okay. Right. This is how the whole system looks now. But reset system. So okay. I don't seem to like this one. Maybe I should just enter something there. Maybe something like order payment due. Okay. So that we can cover here up. So let's come back in here. Let's copy this copy from here and paste it down here and we'll just call it order payments order payments D order payment D no space okay just copy order payment D paste that in here okay now change the names of this and this there okay now this will be the rule will be rule six rule six Okay, that's much better. And that's well with this. I'm gonna call it the end of the third part. So hopefully, the fourth part we should be able to complete the coding. So let's start work on this.